plaza. It it's green. It's the center of town. It's unique in its architecture. Um, we drove through Ajo in 1998 for the first time, again in 2000, and in 2002 we had fallen in love with Ajo and we bought our house here. Where we do children's activities at the farmer's market. It's one of the few places in town where we can be in green, lush grass. And our, we can play. And we can play. And our dog loves the plaza too. Yeah, she loves to run super fast. Mm -hmm. And it's a wonderful center point for all of the great shopping and just a good gathering place for bringing people together in the community. It's amazing how far the community has come because when you do see people come to the plaza nowadays in the segregation, there's absolutely none. This is where people met, spent time together, chatted, recognized each other acknowledge each other and then they went away to their own separate sections of town. So to me this is this is the heart of of Ajo. I, I definitely recall the first time I saw it coming as a, a returning Peace Corps volunteer who's freshly working on the Don Otham Nation and uh, came to Ajo for groceries and came across this plaza and just said what is this place and what is it doing here in the middle of the desert? Seeing us bit by bit bring energy back to the plaza, to get folks having festivals here again, to have businesses opening up in the plaza. Uh, it's just been extraordinary to see because no doubt about it, the plaza is the, the heart of this community and really the heart of the region. Um, that's true economically, that's true culturally, that's true um, historically um, and certainly something that I think is worth preserving, uh, something that I hope is preserved for another hundred years and uh, would, would hate to see fall into disuse or disrepair for sure.